everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. My name is Emily and I'm the owner of The Aesthetic Dollar. So in this vlog, I'm going to be doing a studio reset, which I like to do in between each launch and restock. And I'm basically gonna be going around and reorganizing my office, changing up some systems. I learn a lot from each launch and restock. And so I like to change up some systems just to make things flow more efficiently. So I'm just gonna be organizing and getting things ready for the next restock, including a lot of new shipments. So I have a lot of new shipments coming in. I have gotten a lot better at planning ahead <laughs> and knowing that when you order custom things or things in bulk, it just typically takes a lot longer to arrive. And so I'm already starting to get shipments in for my next launch and restock, which isn't until September, but I think I am going to be putting a few things back in stock on my site this month yet. So this is the first box that came. I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but let's go ahead and just dive into this box. Like I said, I have so much stuff coming. I don't know what's in here. I get a lot of shipping notification emails and it gets overwhelming. So sometimes I just stop looking at them. Oh, I sold out of these really fast. I actually didn't know they were gonna be such a big hit. And so I went overboard and ordered a ton. So these are the tabbed cash envelopes. So I wasn't sure how they were gonna do. So I think I only ordered a hundred sets the first time and they sold out really fast. And I've had a lot of people ask if they're coming back in stock. So um, they're just like the A6 and I have A7 too. I don't know if it's in the box or not. Oh yeah. So the A6 personal size and they're a set of six. And then I've not offered these before, but these are the A7 size. Oh, they're so cute. These are like a DIY, so you can put your own stickers on them. Um, I'm sure there's other shop, small shops that make the stickers, or you could maybe find some on Amazon or something, but definitely shop small if you can. So yeah, these are also a set of six, and they are for the A7 size. I'm thinking about potentially offering these as a bundle with the wallets. You need help with something, Eli? Is that better? Okay, here you go. Thank you for telling me. Can you shut my door? He is still home. He has not gone back to school yet. They don't go back to school until the week after Labor Day. He's autistic. And so if there's a string on any of his clothes, he'll like go get a scissors and bring it to you and like show you the string to like cut the string off because it bothers him so much. But anyway, these are super cute. So I will be offering the A7 size and potentially offering them with the bundles. It's hard for me to track my inventory with bundles, which is why I'm not really doing bundles as much anymore because I was running into a lot of issues with my inventory. So everything is sold separately, but I also feel like that gives people the option to really customize what they're getting. But anyway, so that, it looks like this entire box is full of these A6 and A7 tab envelopes, the DIY tab envelopes. They're super good quality. They're nice and sturdy. So, all right, I have another box, so let's open it. This box came from the same manufacturer. So I think I know what's in here and I did not get a sample of these, but I have ordered the tabbed envelopes from them before and they're really good quality. They did send me photos and a video of these. So I'm hoping I like the colors. I only put things in my shop that I would personally use. I've really liked working with this manufacturer. I think I love them. I think I love them. You guys are going to be so excited because so many of you have been asking for these. Okay. So the sage green binder, uh, the manufacturer I used to get them from stopped making the sage color and they just have like purple, pink, black, white, like pastel colors almost. <gasps> you guys, they're beautiful. And I bought an embosser because this manufacturer doesn't do custom things. And so I'm going to um, put my logo on them myself. The quality is amazing. So these are the A6 personal size. So these are super pretty. And then I wanted to offer something that I haven't seen anywhere else. Oh, these feel so nice. So this is like a cream color. I am loving these. Finally, Emily takes a gamble and it ends up working out. Like I said, I did not get a sample of these, but they weren't custom. So yeah, I bought an embosser having a custom logo 
like a metal custom logo stamp made and I already have my gold foil, my silver foil, and then I can also just like emboss them. So without any foil. So I'm gonna be practicing and I feel like I'm very smart because remember the A6 chic wallet disaster of 2023? I threw all of them away except 20 because I'm gonna use them to practice my embossing on. I know, brilliant. So even though the situation really, really sucked, it ended up working out and now I can practice my embossing on something that doesn't matter. <laughs> This is a fun shipment to open, and I know that I have a shipment coming tomorrow and Wednesday too. So today is Monday, August 14th. So I have two more shipments coming this week for sure, potentially more. I have a lot of fun things coming in the mail. Okay, so those were some new products that I have not even announced on Instagram. So you guys are gonna be the first to find out about those. I'm not gonna launch the binders until my next launch and restock. And some of the other products coming this week are new that I have not spoken a word about. So you guys are gonna get to be the first to see them. But I do think I'm going to put the A6 tabbed envelopes and potentially the A7, I haven't decided yet, on my website now because they went out of stock really fast and I have, I want to say, over 100 back in stock notifications just for the tabbed envelopes. So I think I'm going to put those on my website once I go through and count and quality check them maybe today or tomorrow. I'll put them on my website. But I do still have a few orders to pack up that came in since this morning. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. My to-do list is so long. I think I'm going to pack up the orders so that I can get them to the post office before it closes. And then some other things on my to-do list, I need to print stickers. I need to cut the rest of my freebies and get those all ready to go. I've cut some so that I have them ready for the orders that are coming in right now because I ran out of my treat yourself ones. So, but yeah, these are new. These are cute. They're the vacation and travel saving challenge. It's my freebie for right now. And then once these run out, I'll create a new savings challenge freebie. Just so that if people order multiple times, they're not getting the same freebie. But yeah, and then I just need to like restock my bags, make more boxes. Like I said, print more stickers. And then we need to get going on making envelopes for the next launch and restock because I think with this next one, I am gonna offer custom envelopes. And so I wanna make sure I have a very large quantity of all of the other envelope bundles already ready so I don't have to make those in the process. So yeah, a lot to do today. Let's get on with it. August 15th and yesterday was a really productive day. I am really happy with everything that we got done. Other things on my to-do list is to pack orders. I have more orders that I need to pack up that came in overnight. I need to cut my freebies, print more stickers, which we printed some yesterday, but I have more to print today. I was out of the size that I needed though, so I ordered them on Amazon 
a while back and I actually have a huge Amazon box on the floor and I think that they might be in there. So printing more stickers and, and just refilling all of my stickers. The other thing I wrote down was to schedule envelopes. And what I mean by that is this time around for this launch and restock, I'm gonna make a schedule of working on one thing each day. So it doesn't feel so overwhelming. So like one day I work on beginner savings challenges and then the next day I work on the cursive wallet bundles and then the next day I work on the classic wallet bundles so that it's just a little more spread out, but I am seeing like the progress as I go versus trying to do everything all at once. So I'm gonna make that schedule. I do need to make more boxes because I have some sizes that I've been making as I go and it's faster if I just make all the boxes so I can just pull them when I'm packing orders. And then the other thing on my to-do list is to do my cash planning. So my sister and I have a really fun day planned. So she's gonna come pick me up and we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, probably Starbucks and Home Goods, and do some shopping. But I wanna get my cash planning done because the bank is close to Home Goods and Hobby Lobby. And I have a lot of videos to film for cash stuffing this week. I have my regular cash stuffing that I need to film, but I'm also need to film a cash condensing and a cash on stuffing. So I'm gonna sit down and do my cash planning. And then I also need to grab some of my sinking funds envelopes out of the binders that are in our safe so that I can take them with me in case I wanna do a little bit of shopping while we're out. A lot to do today, but I love days like this where I have a plan, I have a schedule and I have a list because I can just knock things off my list. But yeah, so I'm gonna do my cash planning and let's get on with the day. challenge all planned out so now that this is all done I'm gonna go pick up Bristol from daycare really quick come home and then go through my sinking funds envelopes and just grab any categories I think I might need while I'm out so let's go pick up Bristol Like the perfect day because it's not humid. Emily does not like humidity. I have not heard from my sister yet, so I'm gonna go home and make Bristol some lunch and get my cash envelopes ready to go, and then I'm assuming we'll be on our way. Okay, so I just got back from Hobby Lobby with my sister. We had so much fun. We did not end up going to Home Goods because her daughter needed to get home and take a nap. She was getting pretty fussy. But we did do our regular Starbucks run and I did go to the bank. So I just want to really quick show you guys some of the things that I got. And then I'm going to go through and make sure that all my cash is in order by looking at the receipt. I did get a few things for the aesthetic dollar and therefore I'm just thinking ahead for like the holiday season and just different photos for Instagram. And so just a lot of photo props. A very distinct style when it comes to Christmas. I love evergreen. I got a couple of each of these and these were all on sale 40% off as well. Um, they ranged anywhere from $1.99 to $2.99 a piece, I believe. But I also might use them as like actual decor in my house. I don't know. Either way, it was a business write-off. So this I paid for out of my business account. My sister found these and these are so stinking cute. These could probably be used all year round, honestly. These are just like little bead things. They're just, I love them. So I got a couple of these. And then another fall one. I'm a sucker for like pumpkins and stuff like this, but I thought this would be really cute. Flat lay, you know, for a photo. So I got this. And then for Christmas stuff, stuff like this. So I got a couple of these. A few different colors of these. I really liked these, but I also thought a pop of red might look really nice in some photos. This is like my jam. I love like the frosted pine coney type stuff. So I thought these would be cute. And then I also got some ornaments because I can also hang these on my Christmas tree, but I wanted to have some ornaments to put in photos as well. So these are all new for photos. I'm really excited about those. And I also have a little tote laying around, so I'm just gonna store it all in a little tote. So I'll probably put all of my photo stuff together because it's kind of all spread out right now, but I wanted to just have one place where I had everything that I use for photos 
so that when I want to take photos and set everything up, I can just grab my backdrop and then my tote with all my props. So yeah, that was a really successful trip to Hobby Lobby. I'm going to go through and just make sure that my cash envelopes are in order. I did just like pull out of one cash envelope all of the cash that I needed when I was in the store because I don't like fumbling through all of them. I always get really like frazzled. So I'm going to look at the receipt and go through and I know exactly what envelope I pulled everything out of. So I'm just going to go through and make sure all of that is correct. But yeah, so I'm going to do that. researching somewhere like something because I am bursting at the seams I have nowhere to store all of this inventory so yeah I need to get that figured out very soon our entire like living space out there there's just boxes and boxes of binders so well I'm gonna get on with cleaning my office and I will probably see you guys later tonight <laughs> about propel tomorrow yeah yeah what are you guys doing tomorrow i'm sure fishing kayaking and of course near the beach too nice. like a fun day why don't you go hop in bed and i'll be right in to tuck you in
Good morning. Today is Thursday, August something. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I did not really get around to filming much yesterday because I spent a lot of yesterday just kind of like cleaning up my house and ordering groceries and just like kind of resetting the house and doing some deep cleaning. So I wasn't in the office as much yesterday, but I did pack up some orders and respond to some emails and do some things like that. It just would have been really boring for me to film that for you guys. So today though is going to be a really sporadic day because Chris is gone for the next three days doing a golf weekend with some friends from high school. They do it every year. So I'm alone with all four kids for the next three days. And so it's going to be just kind of working in pockets of time. I'm used to doing that. It just makes it really hard for me to, to film. So I'm gonna try to film as much as I can over the next three days, but I don't know, we're just gonna kind of play it by ear. I still have a lot of like organizing and systems and office reset things to do. So that will come later on in the video, but over the next three days, I might not get to film as much. But today I have a really exciting shipment coming that I've been talking about the entire video. So it was supposed to come on Tuesday and it's been delayed for two days, but it is coming today according to my FedEx tracking. And this is a shipment that I've been waiting for for like two and a half months. So we'll be able to unbox that today. I also had a giant shipment of the ASIC Chic wallets come in. So I might start processing through those over the next few days as well and get those all ready to ship out to the VIP list that I have, the people who ordered them before, you know, that whole wallet disaster. So I'm definitely having one of those days where I'm just, I don't want to say overwhelmed because I don't like using that word. I have my list, so I should just follow my list. I just keep thinking of things to add to the list and I'm like, oh, I could do that real quick so I can cross it off where I should just try to stay on track. So I'm just having one of those scatterbrain days today. I did make my schedule for what I'm doing for the next launch and restock. So each day over the next two weeks, I have one thing to work on each day and complete to the end. So today I am going to shrink wrap all of my cash planning notepads. So yesterday's task was budget binders and I think I got 15 budget binders hole punched, which isn't as many as I wanted to. I still have like 80 ish in boxes that are needing to be hole punched, but I got through about 15. So today's task is cash planning notepads. So I need to shrink wrap those. And I also need to shrink wrap the budget binders that I hole punched yesterday. So I'm gonna do that right away this morning just to make sure that that task gets completed today. And then tomorrow I start on envelopes. So I'm hoping that I can get through them. It's like I said, gonna be dicey being alone with the kids. I might be working a lot, you know, upstairs. I like to bring things upstairs and work on them so I can still be like around. So anyway, I'm gonna get started with shrink wrapping the budget binders and the cash planning notepads and then just kind of see what else I can get done from there. This is probably hands down the most exciting shipment that I've ever gotten. I ordered these two and a half months ago. They came in a lot sooner than I thought they were going to. I'm so excited to dive into these. So these were always supposed to be part of the fall launch because I did know that processing times were super long for these specifically. And that is because these were made from scratch. I'm excited. So let's dive in. I'm just trying to be careful that the packing label doesn't show. I'm always so careful, but then somebody always finds it. So here we go. Oh my God, you guys. I take a lot of pride in having products that are specific to my brand and things that aren't like anything else anyone else offers. And while there are some things that are just common in the budgeting world, I just wanted to have something that was very specific to the aesthetic dollar, which is why I wanted to have something that was completely customized by me that I've not seen anywhere else and that I absolutely love. These were inspired a little bit by the Lizzie collection. However, 
they are a little bit different and just my style. So I wanted to create something that I was gonna use myself and absolutely love. And so I am gonna be using these in my cash stuffing videos, but these are binders. Look at them, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, so these are so soft, so soft. So let's take a peek. So I'll show you the outside first. So it's just this like beautiful, like ripple, wavy. I need to think of what to call these. I don't know what to call these. So if you have name suggestions, drop them in the comments. But yes, so you can be the one to name this collection. I just haven't thought of a good name for it yet, but it is super, super soft. This is the nude color. And look at this like beautiful gold texturing. I'll give you guys some close-ups here in just a minute. Oh. I can't. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is amazing because like I designed this. Oh my God. Okay. Like how pretty is that? How pretty is that? I'm literally speechless. I'm literally speechless right now. Okay, we're gonna set this one aside because that's gonna be mine. Okay, let's look at the black. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't, you guys, they're so pretty. It's so sharp. Oh. I'm like literally in love with these. Okay, so these are all the nude and the black binders. Let's open another box. There's another color. All right, I think we're all good with the label. So this company, I have to give them props. Thank you. <laughs> I get so, so excited every time someone places an order. So that's like my notification for orders. Okay, this company, this manufacturer did such a nice job of packaging. I mean, the box is kind of crushed, but that's not their fault. They have fragile stickers all over these boxes and I've never had a manufacturer actually put those stickers on boxes like that have binders in them. So I truly appreciate that. This was not a cheap process. This process was fairly expensive. In the moment, I felt like I was taking a really big risk because it was something I had never done before, but what's life if you don't take risks? And this one ended up working out because like, even if not a single person buys these, I will find a use for every single one of these binders because I love them so much. Oh my God. Here's every time I see a new color, the white is so beautiful. Okay, this is the white. It's literally perfection. The gold is just so beautiful. So when I was designing these, we worked really closely for a couple weeks together because it was kind of a longer process, but so I really liked this material. And I mean, they had so many options for different material, but this one really stood out to me. And then she said that the inside couldn't be this material because for the logo and the embossing, it wouldn't work on this material. So I just chose this really, I mean, there's some texture to it, but it's pretty smooth for the most part. I just chose that for the inside so they could still do the embossing with, with the logo on there. But, and then there's like plenty of pockets. I'll, I'll give you guys a more close up here in a second, but all oh, the white is just gorgeous. All right, so that one will be mine. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna open up two more of these. Are you guys ready? So these are A5 size. So I got A6 and A5 from this manufacturer. These snaps are so smooth, if that makes sense. Oh my God. So I wanted to keep the logo somewhat subtle down here in the corner. And then that way when you have your planner or your binder pages in here, it still shows a little bit, but how beautiful. So pretty. I don't know how I'm gonna pick though. So this is the nude color. This is definitely more nude than taupe and I did that on purpose. It's so beautiful. You guys, this material is so soft. I'm really bad at describing smells and feels. <laughs> oh, I feel like I have the same reaction for every binder. Oh, but seriously, I don't know what else to say. It's so pretty. And these rings are pretty big. I forget what size they are. I think they're 35 millimeter, I don't remember. 
I'll have to, I'll look it up. It'll be in the description, but in this pen loop. I love it. Okay, I'm really excited to see the black. The black, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is the black A5. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. It is safe to say I am so obsessed with these. I already took out all of the like protective things on the rings and I'm gonna wait to set these up because I wanna film that for the channel so that I can announce these new binders and show them to everyone. I need to also figure out a date for the fall launch and restock. I said September, cause I am gonna offer custom envelopes this time around. I wanna do it after the kids are back in school. So I'm thinking like the, the week after Labor Day, I think is when I'm gonna do it. I just need to like decide on the day. <laughs> I have a kid coming in here. Hi. So anyway, I am going to go upstairs and probably get her a snack and then just try to get some more things done today off and on sporadically. So I'll try to film as much as I can, but if I don't see you until tomorrow, I don't see you till tomorrow. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah.
Hey everyone, it's me, obviously. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm just here doing a voiceover because it's been a crazy week. I had my mystery grab bag sale today and was honestly blown away because we sold out in six minutes. And I knew we'd sell out fast, but not that fast. So I'm gonna be spending the rest of the day packing 140 orders so I can get them shipped out and then just continue prepping for the fall launch and restock, which all of that will be in my next vlog, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But this is it for now, and I hope you enjoyed the video and that you're as excited for the fall launch as I am. I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video.